Now, battery room is very, very important aspect as far as the marine offshore oil and gas is considered. The battery room basically consists of the batteries, uh, which are normally uh, UPS, uh, for the UPS system, the batteries play a very important role uh, to have an un uninterrupted power. So uh, the batteries always need to be charged. And when the battery charging is required, uh, it releases certain amount of hydrogen. And hydrogen is a hazardous gas. Uh, this entire battery room calculation along with the example, I would be covering it in subsequent session also. But for time being to understand what the battery room and how the normally ventilation happens, uh, this is a formula as per the EN50272-3 is been uh, considered over here and uh, we need to gather the sub sufficient data from the electrical department to start with so they when once they give the data we do our calculations so since the hydrogen is getting released hydrogen gas is always a lighter in nature so it gets accumulated over the ceiling and when, for that we need to provide uh, for, for that we need to provide the fans which are duty standby suitable for hazardous areas and uh, the ducting always goes at the roof side, roof, roof type, it touches the roof and uh, the suction happens from the side uh, or, on the, or from the bottom. So it takes, uh, it, it takes care of the hydrogen gas uh, which is getting accumulated at the top. And when we talk about the requirement of the air conditioned, air conditioned room, uh, air conditioned air when we supply to this battery room, it is always supplied at the floor level. So a draft effect should happen. So gas should get pushed uh, to the uh, level above the ceiling. So that is a requirement. So it, it, uh, ideally it should get sucked properly. And if you see this formula carefully, this is a formula which has been applied uh, to calculate the uh, ventilation rate to uh, take out the hazardous gas outside. But again, there is a one more thing over here. Normally, this or 12 layer changes, which is standard industrial practice, whichever is higher is taken into consideration while designing the battery room system. And battery room being a hazardous areas, uh, any electrical equipment which is kept inside, say for example, fan or panel, you need to consider that the fan has to be suitable for zone 1, gas group 2C, temperature class T, uh, T3. So, this is again I'm going to cover up in details. So fan cost also significantly is higher in the battery room and, uh, and the details I will cover up in subsequent session.